Solving systems by substitution. First move, you're going to need to isolate. Isolate a variable. That means get a variable by itself. Any one of these four, you can try to get by itself. Typically, if you have a multiplier of 2 or a multiplier of 5, they will be easier variables to get by themselves. Eventually, you're going to have to divide by that multiplier. So dividing by 2, dividing by 5 are pretty simple processes. I'm going to isolate that W right there. which means I need to get rid of a 14n and I need to get rid of a times 5. Subtract 14n from both sides. That'll move effectively the 14n over here and we'll have 5 w's equal to 18 minus 14n's and then divide by 5. Both sides. W equals 3.6 minus 2.8 N. All right, so that's dividing by 5. And remember, if, if you're going to divide multiple terms by a number, you need to divide each term individually by that number. So 18 divided by 5, 3.6. 14 divided by 5, 2.8. Okay? That is isolating. After you've isolated, then you're moving to a step called substitute. This is why it's called solving systems by substitution. By the way, if your teacher's going to be nice to you, they'll give you a system that already has one of the variables isolated, and then you get to skip the isolation step and just move directly to substitution. Substitution says this. I've used this equation already to isolate. I'm going to take this value, w, and replace w in my other equation. So I'm going to write this again. 3n's minus 2 times w equals negative 33. But instead of writing w, I'm going to write what w equals. 3.6 minus 2.8 n's. All right. If you're working on systems of equations, you should already know how to solve something that looks like this. You don't know how to solve something that looks like this. You're not ready for systems of equations. Okay, solving a multi-location, multi-step, multi-location equation involves distributing, combining like terms, and then opposites. Distribute, combine, opposite operations. So, distribute to get rid of my parentheses. Three n minus 2 times 3.6, so minus 7.2, minus 2 times negative 2.8, so plus 5.6 ends equals negative 33. That's distributing to get rid of parentheses. Then combine like terms, this guy and that guy. 3n's and 5.6n's are together 8.6n's. We still have our minus 7.2, and we still have that equal to negative 33. Two-step equation from here on out, so should be simple, simple for you at this point. Add the 7.2 to both sides. We got 8.6n's equals negative. 
divide by 8.6 on both sides, and we finish with n equals negative 3. Feels like I just solved something. Feels like I'm ready to move on to the next problem. But I'm not, because I only solved half of what I was supposed to solve. n equals negative 3, but what is w? All right, beautiful thing after we get to this point is now that I already know what n is, finding w is much, much simpler. I already know what n is, so I'll do another substitution, right? Come up here. Now that I know what n is, negative 3, I'll replace the negative 3, and I can actually just type this whole line into a calculator at this point. 3.6 minus 2.8 times negative 3. Get an answer. N is, when N is negative 3, W is 12. All right, and now I'm finished. W is 12 when N is negative 3. The other beautiful thing about systems of equations is I don't need to turn this in until I've checked it. I can find out am I right or not before I turn it in. How will I know I'm right? if these solve correctly the original equations. So if I do 14 times negative 3 plus 5 times 12, I should get, as an answer, 18. And if I do 3 times negative 3 minus 2 times 12, I should get, as an answer, negative 33. If you need more examples, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of any videos on the internet. The topic you're going to want to search for is systems of equations by substitution.